What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection coming to PlayStation 4. The game might be out by the time you're listening to this video. I want to talk to you guys about what I figured, what I thought this game would do as far as sales compared to what Naughty Dog says. Now I, I was a big fan of the PlayStation 3 and the 7th generation. I loved it. I had multiple PS3s. I still do. I got four or five of them in my house. So I played a lot of Uncharted. When Uncharted 1 came out, I thought it was a very game-changing game. No pun intended. I really enjoyed it. I, I think that Uncharted 2 was the best of the Uncharted series. Uncharted 3, I didn't really play it. I watched my wife beat it. Uh, but I think that the series overall was extremely fun. Uh, all my friends who were on PlayStation at the time had played all the Uncharted games. Everybody knew who Nathan Drake was, who Sully was, uh, and they knew what the saga was all about. And so I figured that once Naughty Dog inevitably uh, released uh, uh, HD trilogy or HD versions of the game, that it wouldn't sell too good. I, I, because I was thinking that everybody had already played the Uncharted games, but according to Naughty Dog, this is not the case. According to Naughty Dog's own research, around 80% of PlayStation 4 owners have never played an Uncharted game. That's part of the reason why the developer says in a new interview that it believes the upcoming PS4 compilation pack, Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection, can be successful. Quote, it's pretty massive, end quote, Naughty Dog's Eric Monselli said in an interview with MCV about the pool of PS4 owners who have never played any game in the Action Adventure series. Quote, we did a lot of research and discovered that about 80% of the people that own a PS4 have never played Uncharted, period. That was one of the reasons why we thought remastering it would be a good idea, end quote. Sony said previously that almost 50% of PS4 owners never purchased a PS3. To accommodate those owners who are new to the PlayStation ecosystem, executive Andrew House previously said that Sony was looking to remaster back catalog games for the PS4. Sony has already released remastered versions of PS3 games God of War 3, which I have, The Last of Us, which I have. Looking ahead, the company recently said it would consider a Killzone HD compilation, which may do well, if you ask me, while other franchises are also being considered. Overall, Monselli said that Naughty Dog's expectations for the Nathan Drake collection are high. Sony is putting some heavy marketing weight behind it. Uh, the company has created a TV ad for the game using Aerosmith's Sweet Emotion. The ad plays regularly during primetime programming in the U.S. Um, I didn't know. I had no idea that those numbers were accurate. I don't know exactly how accurate they are or what uh, surveys they did, but 80% of PS4 owners never played a Nathan Drake or Uncharted game. To me, that's hard to believe. To me, it's really hard to believe. But if that is the case, if those numbers are anywhere near true, which I'm not saying they are or aren't, but if they're anywhere near true, this game should sell relatively well. The Uncharted games are really a staple of the PlayStation ecosystem. They really changed what third-person action-adventure games were. And uh, it's really awesome. I'm actually considering getting it myself uh, just to go back through the series again and get ready for uh, A Thief's End. I think it'll be a nice segue into what the the future of nathan drake or the end of nathan drake is all about i had no idea the story or, or this i had no idea that so many people on playstation 4 had never experienced this game and if you're one of the people with a ps4 who's never played an uncharted game please let me know in the comments below to me that's amazing that so many ps4 owners have never tried this game and if you haven't tried it Take my word for it, the game is beastly. Become a beast yourself and subscribe today. And if you like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.